Hi everybody, it's Shane again for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're gonna to talk about cleaning your sprayer out. Um, it's probably one of the most neglected things in the fall. The sprayer gets winterized, but nobody cleans it out and you end up with chemical residue that hangs out in there till next spring. Um, we've got some beautiful, cool and cloudy weather that's keeping everybody from harvesting. So it gives you some extra time to do those forgotten about jobs around the yard. So to start off with, you're gonna to wanna to fill your tank about half full of water and agitate it in the tank, run it through all the systems, and then you can go out to the field if you want or somebody, you'll have a spot where you've harvested already where you can run that water out. You're gonna to wanna to flush all that water out of the tank and then out through the booms and you're gonna to wanna to do that three times. On the, on the fourth time that you do it, or even the third time that you do it, add your, add your tank cleaner. So I don't care what kind of tank cleaner that you use, where, you know, whether you buy it from UFA or you buy it from CPS or, or from Pioneer or whoever, um, get your favorite tank cleaner, put it in there, a couple hundred gallons of water on your last rinse, agitate it well, run it through the booms and stop and leave that sit in the booms for an hour or a couple of hours and then flush the rest of it out. Um, your, your fourth rinse do uh, just a straight water rinse and while you're doing that you should pull your tips and clean them and pull all of your screens wherever they might be located. So to, this is the main filter on the Rogator. Um, whether you have a case or a John Deere or an Apache, it'll be somewhere else, but, but take that main filter off, clean it out, pull your tips, clean your tips. Um, you can always put your, your tips into a pail of soapy water and let them soak for a little while. There's, there's time at this time of the year, you can blow them out, put them on later. Once you have all that complete, then you can go into your final step of winterization so that you don't freeze any of your valves or your flow meter through the winter. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps.